Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Jackson, and this is your Golf Central update. Well, yesterday, International President's Cup captain Trevor Illman announced the full lineup of his 12 man team headed to Quell Hollow in two weeks' time, and today belonged to Team USA and Captain Davis Love the Third. So let's take a look at who will be flying the American flag in North Carolina. No real surprises here. It is quite the roster from Colin Murakawa, Jordan Speed, Rookie of the Year favorite Cameron Young, Billy Horschel finally making his first team appearance for USA, Max. Homer, who finished fifth in the final FedEx Cup standings, and Kevin Kisner rounds out that 12. So let's hear from skipper Davis Love III earlier today. Yes, I, I always say our first 12 is really good, and then our next 12 is really good. Um, and that's what made, you know, my picks um, so difficult is because you just start right on the, on the list of automatic qualifiers, you, you go right past, um, you know, obviously it's disappointing um, that Will got hurt. Our first 12 was incredibly strong. We uh, almost could have just gone right off the top 12 list. But when you start at 13 and work your way down, every one of those guys is a great player and had a great year and has a case for playing. We certainly could have picked any one of the next 10 or 12 guys and, and had a great player. Um, it just happened that the way the matchups fell. I mean, obviously, there's there's three or four guys on there that I had a really tough phone call with. So, um, you know, and hopefully they'll look at it like I did. And I thought Dave Stockton was wrong and was being mean and didn't pick me. Um, and then I watched it on TV and I went, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want to be out there on Sunday. And then I played in 93, and I went, I get it. Uh, I understand what this team thing's all about. And, um, you know, if you, don't, if you haven't played on one and you haven't, um, you haven't had to pair guys up before, it's, it's tough to make those matchups. But, yeah, there's a lot of great players out there. And Trevor had the same thing. You know, obviously he lost a bunch of guys, but he went right down the list to some great players and, and filled those gaps. I feel bad for, for the game of golf right now that, that this is the story going in. And we've got how many ever days until we actually tee off and, and or they're playing a great event this week. And the story is, you know, Billy Horschel and John Rahm, um, you know, wishing guys weren't there. That, that's sad. Um, so I feel, I feel bad for all of us really, but Trevor, um, has a job to do and that's to take 12 guys in there ready to play. And he's focused on that. We've talked about it a lot. I have the same thing. I, I have to get these 12 guys that are dying to play for team USA ready to play. And it will be a great show once Thursday starts. Well, we haven't been able to spend any time together. Um, but we do, we do have a lot of experience there. Um, I was surprised to find out that Cam Young has not, played there a whole lot, even though he went to school right down the road. Um, but most of our guys you know the golf course. It's funny on our text chains and everything, everybody kind of defers to, to Justin on because uh, he won won the PGA there. But we have a bunch of uh, we have a bunch of experience like Max. Um, Rory keeps lobbying to be on our team because he likes the golf course so much. But I'm, I'm comfortable with our, our preparation um, because we have so many guys that can take a rookie that, that hasn't played there and show them around a little bit. Um, we're going to try to get in there and get some good practice in on Monday when it's real quiet. And then um, obviously have Tuesday, Wednesday to, to dial it in. And tomorrow, the flagship event on the DP World Tour gets underway. One of the strongest fields of the year, but so far this week, the spotlight has been on the rising tensions between the group of 18 live golfers and PGA players questioning their true intentions for being there. It's created quite the upset, and Rory McIlroy wasn't holding back in the press room today. And you said previously that you're gonna, you would find it hard to stomach the 17 or 18 live players being here this week. How have you found it so far? Um, it's been, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen many of them, uh, to be honest. Um, look, it is what it is. They're here. They're playing the golf tournament. Uh, my opinion is they shouldn't be here, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, 
but you know we're all going to tee it up on the first tee tomorrow. We're going to go play 72 holes, which is a novelty for them at this point, and um, and we'll go from there. Rory, uh, you touched briefly there on the Ryder Cup, and um, you were very emotive in your speech at the end of the last one, you recall. And three of those players in that team are now live golf members. Being, I'm thinking of Westy, Polts, Sergio, incredibly disruptive in this period. How does your relationship with them survive? Does it survive? And how does it go going forward? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I wouldn't say I've got much of a relationship with them at the minute. Um, but again, like if you're just talking about Ryder Cup, like that's not the future of the Ryder Cup team. You know, they're they're, you know, they've played in probably a combined 25 Ryder Cups, 30 Ryder Cups, whatever it is. Like that, you know, it's time that you know, and that's why I was talking about these 10 cards going to the U.S. and preparing guys to play at the top level of professional golf. Like that's that's the future of the Ryder Cup. The Hogards, Bobby Mack. Whoever else is, you know, whoever else is coming up, like they are the future of the Ryder Cup team. That's what we should be. That's what we should be, like thinking about and talking about. Sure, but no, not sadness on your part or theirs. That that, that what seemed an v- amazing relationship is is no more. Yeah, but like I haven't done anything different. They're the ones that have made that decision. So I can st- I can sit here and keep my head held high and say I haven't done anything differently. Do you see a way back for live golf players somewhere down the line if, if they decided that wasn't for them, they wanted to come back to the traditional tours? I mean, they can always go through Q school, yeah. If Jay Monaghan came to you and said, we're having a bit of trouble with the President's Cup, it's one-sided, would you consider playing for the rest of the world? What would you say? 100%, it's a Quail Hollow. Have you seen me play Quail Hollow? I love Quail Hollow. I'd love to play. Um, I actually, I, I said that to Trevor many times. Um, Trevor and I have even had some chats recently because a couple of his, his team have um, decided not to play for him. So um, I said to him, I'm, I'm available if, if you can get me in. I'm sure there, there might be some Australian or some South African in me somewhere. I don't know. But um, yeah, like I, I'd love to play if I could, but, but obviously that's, that's not an option. Jamie, last question, please. Rory, if come Sunday, down the stretch, you find yourself in contention and the man to the side of you as a live player, would there be more incentive to win? I mean, I'll be trying to win a golf tournament regardless. Um, they're going to be pretty tired on Sunday. It'll be the fourth day. Um, but no, like I'll be trying to win a golf tournament regardless. So my focus is I'm in a great position in the race to Dubai. And I want to finish the season off well because I think it would be a really cool double to do. So Rory McIlroy will be heading up quite the all-star lineup at the BMW PGA. You've got the likes of US Open reigning champion Matthew Fitzpatrick, defending champion Billy Horschel and John Rahm in the field as well. That is it for your Golf Central update today. Plenty of golf coming away from Wentworth, the home of the DP World Tour. Have a wonderful evening.